With at least two billion stars in our universe, somewhere in deep space there are probably planets with civilizations built by living creatures, some peaceful, some warlike. From the distant Sapphire Galaxy, a ferocious race of creatures have set out to conquer our universe, beginning with the planet Earth. A nuclear war is imminent the results of which will poison even the distant reaches of outer space and planets such as this one, the Emerald Planet. Though they are fierce fighters when it comes to defending and protecting their way of life, the Emerald Men in the Marpet Galaxy are essentially creatures of peace. They realize, however, that the Sephirians' mad idea of conquest now threaten their very existence, and drastic steps must be taken to prevent this dangerous act of aggression. The High Council of the Emerald Planet is now deciding what must be done. The Emerald Men realize the assaulting force which the Sephirians are sending earthward represents their finest legions and their entire arsenal. If this force can be destroyed before a nuclear war can begin, then the universe will be safe. The High Council agrees that there is only one way the Emerald Men may be able to achieve this. The scientists of the Emerald Planet have invented one of the most ingenious mechanisms the universe has ever seen. Called a globe meter, it is carried on the wrist. It enables the wearer to do three things. To fly through space, to detect radioactivity, and to speak and understand every language on the planet Earth. Finally, this great forum of the Emerald Hierarchy reaches a decision. In order to save Earth from the invasion of the Sephirians, they once more must present the globe meter to one of their fellow creatures and send him to Earth. He is the creature known as Starman. Starman's globe meter warns him that he is nearing a Sephirian invasion ship laden with weapons of deadly radioactivity. Starman realizes that the ship contains enough radioactive material to destroy Earth within a few seconds. He knows that even though he may be killed, he must attack the ship.
meteorites has forced Starman to abandon his attack. He decides to land on Earth and to learn who among the billions of Earthlings is a traitor to mankind and is working with the Sephirians. On Earth, at the Forecap Observatory, a startling discovery is made. Professor, in the telescope, the GP object lens has been smashed. What? The lens? Look. We won't be able to use it anymore. It's true. On an island 2,000 miles away in the Yamanaka Space Laboratory, where a spaceship to be used for peaceful purposes is being built, another discovery is made and reported to Dr. Yamanaka, who is at home. What's that? It blew up again. How can that panel just explode like that? I'll inspect it. You can tell Asami to continue examining every part. It's too bad. I wonder why there are so many accidents there. It's very suspicious. And astronomical observatories are having trouble all over the world. I'm scared. I think that someone is trying to destroy the research. You could be right. But why would they try to destroy a work that's so peaceful? I can't understand. I can't either, Ryoichi. As Father's ship nears completion, there are more accidents. Keoru, I'll go to the laboratory now. After that, I'll go to the plant. You can tell them at the plant to look over the ship. All right. as though the relays had failed. Then they burned. That made the rectifiers and condensers all burn up. Asami, here's what caused it to burn up. Oh, I don't see why. Those alloys shouldn't burn at all. I wonder if there's a flaw in the metal. That could have caused it. Doctor, why not return the part as is? I suggest sending it to the company making it. It's too risky. There'd be some publicity. Our enemies mustn't learn of this. With a ship like this, I wouldn't trust them. As men of science, I'm certain you're aware that the value of this great ship we're building lies in its peaceful usage. With it, we can learn what lies beyond our solar system. And yet the ship is dangerous. Enemies could use it against us. And should that occur, you know that we'd all be defenseless and the destruction could be terrible. So we will have to continue working in secrecy for a time. So, not a word of our successes or failures must reach the outside world. We'll say nothing until our ship is ready for flight. <laughs> Yes, Kioru. The damage can be repaired quickly. Oh, we're so glad to hear it. All you need will be a solenoid, then, for the rectifier panel. Right. The only trouble is we haven't a single solenoid in our inventory, none at all. They are not supposed to melt, so we felt that we wouldn't be needing any for spares and therefore didn't order them. I'll go and get some, then. They're sold at the precision works, isn't that true? Yes. Then I'll ask Papa to write a list for me. Let's go together. Hmm. We'll get the part here as soon as we can. That's right.
Keoru and Ryuichi leave the island space laboratory and go to secure the precious part needed for the spaceship. Can I help you? Here, this is what Ah, I a list. Oh, sorry, the gentleman who just left bought the last ones. We're completely out of stock. I'm very sorry. The man who just left? Yes. What's as soon as you can get this part in again? If you come back tomorrow, I can assure you that we'll have some in stock. I shall. Good day. It's peculiar. That strange man took the whole supply just now. Isn't that suspicious? It certainly is. Let's trail him, right? Mm. Should we move the stone? It's too dangerous. Instead, I think we should call the police. Hmm. Stay right where you are. Children, you mustn't be afraid. I'm certain your father will save you. Just as soon as you sit down and write him a letter. Come and write it. You'd like to be rescued, wouldn't you? <laughs>
You know where to take them. Man your posts. At this same time, on the island where the secret space laboratory and Dr. Yamanaka's home are located. Yes? Have the children returned? Not yet, sir. Apparently, they've been delayed. Hmm. It's the first time in weeks that they've been in the city. They're enjoying it. I just hope that they're all right. Osami, how are preparations for the engine test proceeding? Ah. I'll check it again later. I think by morning you can test it. Doctor, excuse me, you have a visitor. Here? At home? But it's secret here. No one is supposed to know we are located here. We've been well aware that you're here, Doctor. We are locked up in their secret headquarters. They say that they will kill us unless you come. Please do what they ask and save us. Tomashi, don't let this man get away. You hear? Asami, call the police. Don't move. I warn you not to resist us. Otherwise, you won't see your children again. We're after the engine of the ship. You see, we are agents of the Sephirians who are going to attack the Earth. We have secretly erected another great spaceship. We need the plans of your engine to fly it. You have them build a ship. And you're responsible for the damage here, isn't that right? Our planet must face a war. And you are a spy. I'd make you pay for all the harm that you've done. Doctor, I know very well what I am. And I'm content. In the attack, I won't die. The Sephirians have already assured me of that fact. Come with us. After the engine is installed, you'll fly it. The ship will be ready as soon as you have the engine working. Now let's go, Doctor. And if I decide that I won't? Don't take the engine plans. I beg you. Oh. Now, go ahead. Let's go. <laughs> Here, some of the world's top security forces hold an urgent meeting. Gentlemen, I have an announcement. I assure you, it is of grave importance. The blueprints for the great spaceship engine were stolen a few hours ago. And we have also learned that Dr. Yamanaka is missing as well. All of his work has been sabotaged. Have you learned who is responsible? At the present time, we have no clues whatever. Keeping this situation secret is wrong. I think we should let people in on it. There might be some way that they can help. No, I strongly disagree. No. no. You're certain? Starman, you say? Yes, sir. My dear sirs, Starman is outside. He would like, he said, to address this meeting. Is this Starman? Is he anyone we can call on to help us? If he is, then I propose that you ask him for his assistance immediately. We'll see. Show Starman in. Yes. Please listen. Your planet is about to be attacked. You can take my word. The enemy is coming from an outer world toward Earth. They are called Sapphirians and they are a vicious race. Some of their secret agents have infiltrated your most restricted areas, your governments and your scientific laboratories. At this moment, the Sapphirians have a huge space station within striking distance of Earth. That's right, it is in position. 
And also, I know this. The Sephirians have built a great ship. It is similar to yours, except that it lacks an engine as powerful as the one on your ship. However, their agents have managed to kidnap Dr. Yamanaka and stolen the plans for his engine. Gentlemen, I want to say I've come from the Emerald Planet to save Earth and ensure peace for all time. Oh. It's them. The Superiors are coming nearer. I know I can hear them. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. I promise I will locate the Superior ship. And I'll return Dr. Yamanaka and the blueprints. We want to have a ship just as strong as your ship. And we've waited for you to volunteer to work on the engine. As you know, we've not tried to make you do it by using force. Our great patience, as well as our goodwill, is at last ended. I'm sorry, Captain. My children are the reason that I came here. I will not give you any of my help. I'm against war. You may threaten, but I will continue to protect the peace of this earth. I'll do nothing, though you may kill me. But my children don't deserve death. You can free them. Captain, they're innocent and should be spared. I'm offering my life to spare them. There's no amount of brutality that'll make me submit. I have another way to force you to do as I want. I'll make you into a Zephyrian slave for all time. Lieutenant, use the thought eradicator. Yes, sir. on our warning system. Make contact with the space station. See if they know what's causing the trouble. Yes, sir. Sir, I can't make contact. There's a strange object interfering with the beam. Switch to another band and turn the frequency up. I'll try, sir. Huh. What is it? Emergency. I know that sound. Starman is causing it. What? Starman is the cause? Take your battle post and prepare for action. Hurry! Hurry! As he flies toward the space station, Starman detects signals from the secret Zephyrian base on Earth. When you reach them, ask for instructions. Yes, sir. The Superior Space Station receives the signal from Earth and returns in order to the underground Earth base. Here is the order, sir. Starman is liable to make trouble. Kill him. Also, get ready for launching. Be certain that all prisoners are on board. Do not waste any time. Right. Starman's globe meter has warned him that he must face not one superior base, but at least two. 
the base under the Earth's surface, and the station in space. Starman, cross the electron net. Stop all sending until we can kill him. Ah, Starman's approaching. Increase acceleration. A third. Mach 80. At this same moment, in the Sephirians' underground base, launch the ship! Hey! 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 Countdown may begin. Report. Monitor. Open. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. As the ship is launched from Earth, Starman detects the presence of another larger space station. It is the Sephirian Supreme Headquarters. You must instruct the spaceship to use EF orbit, sir. I know it. This is Bunda addressing you. 
Change course. Move into orbit EF. Wait for further instructions. Our course is altered. We are entering orbit. EF is near the Death Star. I know as a certainty that our new ship can withstand that heat. Starman, as he tries to follow it, shall die. The flames there shall destroy him. The minute that's done, we can move through our solar system and our scheduled attack can begin. Uh, sir, after it crosses the Death Star and our attack is ready, I suggest you offer a mm -hmm. surrender ultimatum. Mm -hmm. It's necessary to show our strength. And in order to do that, we'll have our rockets destroy one of the peaks in the Himalayan mountains. We'll approach Earth from this point as planned, but first, Starman must be destroyed. Starman detects signals being sent Earthward from the huge Sephirian station and realizes that the signals must be meant for a spaceship. He suspects that either Dr. Yamanaka's powerful ship or one just like it has just been launched. And he knows that if this is true, the doctor and his children must be prisoners on board. The ship will cross the fiery Death Star very soon now. Start adjusting the cooling system. Yes, sir. Turning cooling system up. Starman sees the ship and calculates that it is nearing the Death Star. Exterior heat rising. Continue. Yamanaka, make that heat drop. Go on. doubts that his steel body can withstand the terrible radioactive flames, but he knows that he must try to stop the ship from keeping its rendezvous with the Sephirian Supreme Headquarters. If he fails, Earth will be destroyed. He has no choice but to risk the flames of the Death Star. beyond the Death Star. Yamanaka, this ship is invincible. It cannot be destroyed. There's no force in the universe that could defeat it now that it's been armed. I would never help you in using this as a weapon. Doctor, you must be obedient. Since our brain treatment was given to you, you are a robot. That's all you are. <laughs> You and the others have no choice but to submit to my orders. Without you and your vast knowledge, we could not fly this ship or use it against your planet. But now there's no problem. You are completely under our power.
Meteorite coming into the fourth quadrant. You're incorrect. Meteorites are not in this area. Check your screen. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, Starman is there. Starman. It's a mistake thinking he couldn't withstand that tremendous heat. Now we must outdistance him. Curse him. Increase our speed. Our speed is at the limit and Starman is gaining. I know. Now we'll kill him. Yamanaka, you will start firing the rockets. All right, Doctor. Starman is an obstacle that must be destroyed. You must not hesitate to eliminate him. These weapons can do it. You must try to make every one of them strike him. Now, go ahead and shoot him. Nothing in the universe can stop us. Bundar, our supreme commander, is a genius. By ordering us into EF orbit, he enabled us to kill our enemy. Captain, we are now in the vicinity of our space platform. Excellent. Contact them. Yes, sir. Headquarters, this is the ship. Headquarters, this is the ship. What are your orders? Headquarters to ship, headquarters to ship. Use the third plaza for landing. Approach from 90 degrees, two minutes left. Speed, Mach 3. Make your landing immediately. We will. Follow their beam.
Yamanaka, greetings. I extend to you a welcome to our station. <laughs> We're going to erect other ships here. We'll send them all against Earth to destroy it. And you'll help. We need your brains in this. Here's our plan. We Sephirians are not interested just in Earth. We intend to conquer the entire universe. And to do it, we need vessels that can withstand all counterattacks. They'll be strong, made just like your ship, Doctor. And that is the reason our honored leader brought you here. You, Doctor, will design and help build the ships with which we shall conquer the entire universe. Report. Yes, sir. The missile's ready and prepared for program. Excellent. Hi. Hi. has happened to us. Creatures listening on Earth, my plan is to destroy your world, but it's not too late to save the Earth. If you unconditionally surrender, you must surrender or die, because destruction will be total. People of Earth, surrender or die. Our power will be demonstrated now. We'll direct a missile at the Himalayan mountains. Pay attention to its great destructive force. More can be sent unless you give up. An emergency meeting of the United Nations is held. Governments, such as that of Japan, hold urgent meetings. Government officials demand to know what progress has been made on the secret spaceship which Dr. Yamanaka had been building. If completed, it might possess power enough to defeat the Sephirians. But a member of the missing doctor's staff gives a report. The news is discouraging. Although the remaining scientists have been working night and day to complete the ship, an engine to replace the one taken by the Sephirians has yet to be built. The panic-stricken officials demand that all the scientists on Earth pool their resources to build another engine as quickly as possible. It is unanimously agreed that unless this is done immediately, Earth will have no hope of fighting off the imminent attack. A proposal to offer terms to the Sephirians is rejected by some, but agreed to by others. Men desperately argue over a solution to the problem which can mean the end of life for all. What's taking you so long? Those designs should be done already. You never took this long when you were working on Earth. Hurry along. If you won't work any faster, your children will die. We're being delayed because of this. We need those additional ships. You better get those designs completed. I think you'll see the advantage in doing exactly what we've been asking. If you do, if you really decide to join us, you'll be granted an excellent post, and you'll have a great laboratory put at your disposal. Sir, bad news. A report just reached us from our base on Earth. The Earthlings refuse to accept your ultimatum, sir. And also, we just learned that they have arrested most of our secret agents. And their top scientists have resumed work on their great spaceship. What? Destroy downtown New York center of London, and the Diet Building in Tokyo. Start the attack.
can't keep up this missile attack much longer. All the Earth will be destroyed. We'll have to do something about it. We could wreck their missile control room. Let's try. Then if we took the ship after that, we could try to destroy the station. Failure means death. That's right. If we fail, there'll be no Earth to return to. That's right. So we'll do it. Just how? Do you know how we'll do it? Surprise the guards is the first thing we'll do. Now you must disguise yourself as one of the guards. It'll be dangerous, as you know. Still, there's no other way to enter that area. There's only one guard who keeps watch in this section, and I'll surprise him easily. As soon as I knock him out, I'll get into the ship. It'll take exactly 30 minutes to warm up the engines. We'll launch them at 2 o'clock. Just be certain you're there. Tell your father that he has to be there then. I think we're ready to attempt it. Let's begin now. Let's go. Come on. You're forbidden to talk. All right. We won't do it anymore. I just was issued orders. You're dismissed. Wait. Weren't those orders written down? Oh. <coughs> Don't forget, it's important that you're here by 2 o'clock. Ryoichi, hmm. go and tell Father to be here. I will. as well. launched that ship. We could not successfully defend ourselves against them. However, we shall continue our program of destruction. With this method, we may be able to prevent the launching of that ship. We have an alternative. If you finish your designs in time, we could build another ship. One strong enough to destroy the one on Earth. How long will it take you to complete those plans? I won't do them. 
The effects have worn off. The doctor thinks again. He's to die. Sir, the missile control room is damaged. Sabotaged. What? Sir, the pressure adjuster is ruined. It's sabotage. I see. Sound the emergency. younger prisoners just succeeded in escaping the guards. They are the ones responsible for sabotaging our instruments. We must find them and make them pay for this. We captured this one in the second plaza. However, after searching carefully, we haven't been able to find the others. Sir, we've searched everywhere, yet not in this plaza. The others could hide among them. Then let a check begin. Nothing, sir. They are someplace on this station. There's one more area that they could hide in. Tell me, since you've been on watch, anyone gone in? No, sir, nobody. How long were you here? Sir, one hour. I didn't order you here. You don't belong here. You're a prisoner. charge against you and death is decreed as a penalty. I'm passing that sentence, yet it's too easy a penalty for you. Go ahead, execute them. Firing squad, ready?
Turned on the engine switch at exactly half past. They'll go on at two o'clock. She's got to make it to the spaceship before then. Otherwise, she'll be left behind. The ship will leave, and I can't stop it. I'll take a look. I'm sure she must be coming. Oh, don't go. Starman is already searching. We must put our trust in him.
be a fool. If you launch a ship, your daughter shall die. Get out of the ship and surrender. Doctor, we can't let her die. Yes, but if we stay, Earth will be destroyed. Oh, but they'll kill her. You can't leave her. Father, help me. Stop, Starman, do you hear? I give you one last chance to obey my order. You must do so immediately. Refuse and you will see her die. We can't leave her here. Let's agree to what he asks. Doctor, turn off the engine. this section. No, sir.
soon catch up to it. Hold me very tightly. Yes. Are you ready? You must destroy the Sephirian space station right away. Now, try it. Right 180. And 40 down. Increase thrust. Mark 32. You've got it. I'm turning it up. We've changed the station's orbit. Now it's EM-10. It's excellent for destroying their nuclear stockpile without any danger. Here is the station's new orbit. As 
Zen. 38 degrees. More thrust. I'll increase the thrust to Mach 80. Mach 92. I'm turning it up. More thrust. Mach 100. More? Hmm. More thrust. I'm turning it higher. Mission has now been complete. You may return to Earth. Farewell. Goodbye. Farewell. 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 Farewell, my friend. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.